as part of the folk song series, I'm singing Pome Mingla Bhatema, which is a Ladakhi ghazal sung in the region of Ladakh and mostly popular during the trade, uh, trade era. And this song, usually ghazals are about beloved or somebody separated, but this song is about women voice and agency touching upon caste, class, gender and religion. And currently, my location is Atashi's Hudok studio based in Old Town Lake and he is a painter from Ladakh. So the song title is Bombay Mingla Fatima and as the title goes, it says my name is Fatima. In a way, it is, it is a very assertive song talking about a woman's voice and agency because poverty, class, caste and religious differences have rendered her voiceless. So she wants to bring her, out her voice through this song. Here goes the song. Bombay Mingla Patema Pandilla Yajadet Sandani Jaskolet Marpe Gulab Bombay Mingla Patema Pandilla Yajadet Sandani Jaskolet Marpe Gulab The stanza talks about how her name is Fatima and she cleans copper pot copper pots actually pandil means copper pots because she is uh, she is poor and she has to live by herself and usually people used to brew the sangdang tea sangdang was the wild herb which is usually um, artemisia roots uh, called a burna and and people used to brew it in in earlier times and she's talking about how she is she is cleaning pots and she's brewing tea and marpe gulab is usually a trope in balti gazelle uh, referring to a girl to a vulnerable state or usually a state of existence which is which is kind of uh, sympathetic so in the second stanza, she really touches upon caste because she puts her, herself as a metaphor for a rose and then she sings. Let's see what she says. She says, from the beginning till the end of the village, she was looking water for the rose, but the rose couldn't find water. Now this might be interpreted as herself being the rose and she's looking for water or basic essential items. But because of the caste segregation, you know, she couldn't find those basic things like even water. So that's what she says. And here goes the next stanza, which talks about the distance she and her family members has to suffer because they can't afford to stay together. So if you notice, there's a subtle difference in the first the, the stanza I just sang repeatedly. Because in the in, in the previous version, she says that my father is in Hardas, which is a place in Baltistan. My brother is in Shingo, again a place in Baltistan. And our dukan or the hati or the shop is in Chamshin, which is in Nubra. So we are geographically scattered uh, and we, we, we really can't be together. Yeah. And then the next stanza is... <clears throat> So she's saying that my father sells apples. Uh, that's the that's the closest thing uh, her father can find to sell, and. Uh, you know, my father sells apples and he, he's, he manages to sell at least 20 apples in a day and that makes him yield some money in, 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 the, in, the, in the hands. You know, Min is, is the Ladakhi version of yield, saying that, you know, she could manage to get some money in her hands. So this stanza, she talks, she talks to her lover because apparently her lover's father is quite strict. So here it goes. Kiri ata tampo nishina talamo Mikis maturgamo mashpe gulab 
which says that your father is always right and I am weak near your father or your, or your father's commands. You know, make na matong gamo. My eyes haven't seen good things or I want to see happy things. But oh, the rose butt, oh, the red rose, the, the, the typical vulnerable rose I am, I can't afford to be happy in love. Then the last stanza I feel is the most powerful and assertive, uh, assertive stanza in terms of asserting dissent because now this time she is talking to the government or the ruling party above there. She says, she says, you might be the Tasildar or the Wazi or the Minister of the State, but I am a rustic farmer. I, I live by myself. I, I, own my, uh, I earn my own livelihood. So how do you think you can uh, rule over me or dominate me with your position? I doubt that is what she says. And she says at the end again, oh, the vulnerable uh, rose I am, oh, the red rose I am, uh, but I, I, I am trying to live by my, myself. I hope you like today's song on Fatima. Stay tuned for more, more content like this on songs, on Ladakh, on history and women. Until then, Salam, Julie. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe our channel Larson Ladakh and Namgilangmo. Julie. Follow Namgil and Larson Ladakh and do forget, do, what's wrong with me?